G'day guys and uh, welcome to Aura over here just neighboring Bujibba that is the sunny coast resort dead ahead and it's all happening down here let me tell you there are hotels and apartments everywhere fantastic let's go for a walk Aura Pirate Shop. This is obviously where you book all your um, tools and things. And there's one, another one right there. There you go. The Cheeky Monkey Pub. So a lot of the hotels and resorts that people ask about uh, on our page and many of the other pages are right here on this strip in Aura. Uh, did a head around his bend is the Outer Palace Hotel, also popular. There it is ahead of me. The AX group are pretty big, building stuff everywhere. It looks like they're building something right here. And that there is an AX hotel. And it looks like they're expanding in the area. Of course, this place is not immune to scooters, but at least they're all uh, standing in an orderly fashion. Now, Aura is really fast up and coming as a uh, holiday location here. Give it a couple of years when most of its construction is done. That's already very good anyway. All right, at the bus stop, and the bus just rocked up. What I want to show you is, of course, the beach. So very similar to Bujibba. There are these hotel resorts scattered right around the coast here. Very, very nice. They do them so well, restaurants, everything. And then of course there's people swimming in the sea. Let's go up a bit further. So earlier I was at St. Paul's Bay. There's the Outer Palace Resort. Very nice seafront. I like that. If you're walking around doing what I'm doing, you really got to be careful. These things can take you out parked here. They shouldn't just be left where they are, but they'll sort it out. They need time. I like everything. And then of course we've got our coastline that just keeps going. And we go around that bend and eventually we hit Bujibba. The National Museum, uh, museum, the aquarium is around the other side, that way. Um, been there last year. Pretty sure it's the facility you're seeing there with the flags. Probably can't see behind the trees, but anyway. Take it from me, it's that way, towards the point. But this is Aura, it's very nice, eh? Very typical Maltese rocky sort of beach, concrete platforms, ladders. Nice. Now, before when I was at St. Paul's Bay, which was around the point, Technically, this is part of St. Paul's region, Aura and Bujibba. But I was saying how the water was coming straight in. 
and there was a bit of rubbish accumulated. Now over here there isn't any. I walked along the coast before. There is no rubbish because the water's more going across ways, yeah? So yeah. Any, any debris or anything just gets moved on, any seaweed or algae or whatever. And you can see a whole bunch of people here swimming in nice and close. It's a good sign the water's clean and free of jellyfish. Otherwise you wouldn't think that there's going to be uh, a couple of dozen people swimming in one area. Beautiful day. Still breezy, but a beautiful day. Got a bit of an onshore wind here. It's lovely, 30, 31 degrees. It feels hotter than that at the moment. It's just lovely. So I've never stayed here, I run myself. I'd like to get people's thoughts. I, uh, I hear good things about it, good feedback. I, I always hear the same negative things, uh, which I do in most places. Um, most of them around, um, you know, some rubbish and garbage collection issues, of course. And I always hear the racist comments or see the racist comments about foreigners. It's always the foreigners that look different to what we do. That's, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter where you're from or what you're about. Uh, I'm a foreigner, but if nobody calls me a foreigner because of my skin colour and then they call the next person a skin a foreigner because of their skin colour, sorry to tell you that that's, uh, that's racism. Anyway, I'll leave that there. This place is beautiful today. It's just stunningly gorgeous. Uh, probably need to spend a bit more time on this part of the coast here in Bujibba. It's really, really nice. I had no trouble finding parking in Alda. There's plenty of spare parks I'm seeing all around the promenade. Um, I actually found a, a spot right in front of the Sunny Coast Hotel. That's where I'm meeting my lunch date today. Uh, very nice. A lot of accommodation. A really nice place. Alright guys, there you have it. The Alda Coast. Just as the uh, open top bus approaches. Talk to you all soon.